Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve this group from 1863. Sum of all subsets or totals. This problem is marked as easy and it is based out of backtracking. Also, ask in a lot of tier 1 companies like Amazon, Meta, Google, Adobe, Bloomberg, Apple, TikTok. Let's have a look on the problem statement. Here they are saying that Zor total is something which is obtained by taking Zor, bitwise Zor of all of the array elements. So this is the symbol for bitwise Zor operator. And if you take, if you are having any array and you are taking Zor of all the elements, then that value will be called Zor total as per the input problem statement. They are, they are also given an example 256, 205, Zor 6. That is one. See, if you are not aware of those Zor operator, it takes two values. What are the two, two possibilities? In computer, we only have two possibility. No current, there is current. So for two values, we have two into two possibilities. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So these are the possibilities for Zor. And uh, what will be the output in this case? If two ele two items, two values are opposite like this, then it is giving one. One zero, it is giving one. Otherwise, it is giving zero. So this is Zor operator. And they are saying Zor total is Zor value of all the elements in the array. After that, what is given to us? Given is an array. And we have to return the sum of Zor totals of every subset. Okay, look simple. We have to take a sum, sum of all the elements. And what are those elements? Zor totals. Zor totals we already know that uh, whatever is the array, just take a Zor operator on all the elements. And of, of every subset of nums, now we have this sub problem, figuring out all the subset of nums. Just a definition of subset, let's ignore it. So what is given to us? An array. And they are expecting us to take sum of all the Zor totals. And what is Zor total? Whatever is the subset of this array. So Zor value, Zor total is the Zor of all the values in that subset. First of all, let's see uh, what are all the subsets in this. If we have three elements, we have three elements. At every element, we have two possibility. Either that will be the part of the subset or not. Or if to keep it simple, Let's say we are having elements like this, one or two. So what are the subsets? First one is empty set. Second one is picking only one element. Second set is this. Third set is this. So for two elements, we are having two is power two subsets. For three element, we'll be having two is power three subsets. First of all, these four will also be the subset, including that I am introducing three. So these four just include three into the, that as well. So this will be three. This will be one comma three, two comma three, one comma two comma three. So why I added this? See, uh, one comma two comma three. This is my array. If I have all the subsets, then I can take one more step. See, in this case, this subset is sub problem and finding subset of one to three is problem. So P and SP problem and SP problem and sub problem is also is of the same nature. And what is the value? What is the subset of this empty set? Empty, empty list. So if problem and sub problem is of the same nature, in that case, there is only one option with us recursion, one good option with us recursion. So blindly use recursion in that case after giving this distribution to an interviewer. Apply recursion and get a list of all the subsets. Now if we have all the subsets, then capture Zor totals. Zor total of this is 0. Zor total of this is 1. This is 2. And this is 0, 1 and 1, 0. This is also 0. And this is 1, 1. So in, in this way, you are going to calculate the Zor total. So you don't have to calculate that manually, like just run a while, uh, run a for loop 
and take a uh, zor using zor operator take benefit of this bitwise zor operator so my problem is reduced to now you are given nums first of all you have to find all the subsets finding all the subset means finding all the zor totals and whenever you are getting a zor total it means in the terminating case edge case then uh, add that in some global variable sum so sum should be initialized with, with what value see uh, whenever we are initializing something with someone we have to initialize it with identity and what is the identity of zor operator see if i am taking zor of a with someone i am getting a so this is the identity identity property we are going to use let's say a is 12 i want 12 12 is 1100 8 9 10 11 12 okay what value i should take a zor with i will be getting 1100 if it is same it should be same 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 if it is 1 it means these two elements should be opposite to the previous one 0 0 so identity is 0 initialize sum with 0 that's why we initialize with zero so you have to take care of this in terms of bitwise uh, stuff okay so find all the subsets and then take a zor total of that and uh, include that in the sum variable and this is something they are expecting from us taking all the subset and let's say when we are having array something like this 1 2 3 how we can find out the subset my subset can have three possibilities and in this case i can either use something let's say either use one or i am not taking anything if i am taking one it will be like this if i am not taking one it will be remain remaining empty same with the second possibility third possibility for these three values so if i just write a function i will be having an index that starting from what index i should start taking elements so solution of Zero. I should start taking elements from zero, and go till n minus one. What this function is returning? Let's not return anything. Apart from that, I should be taking one variable. Let's say for now I'm just uh, printing all the subsets. So what will be my terminating case? If I am at this position, my index is at this because there are no elements. No elements means no value to print. If i d x is equal to equal to n in that case nothing just print or return just do your stuff or return apart from that we have two possibilities take or do not take if i am taking it solution idx plus 1 and i am taking the idx element just take that otherwise skip it do not take it that's all that's all we have to do and now as they are expecting us to take sum of all the zor total so zor total i can calculate while doing while calculating the subset so let's say uh, xt is the zor total so xt initially it was zero solution started with index zero started with xt as a identity okay when my index is equal to equal to n in that case my xt cannot have any more element and whatever is the sum global sum i need to capture the sum global sum initialize with zero capture all the zor t zor totals so sum plus equal to zor total and don't forget to return because now this is my terminating case and now if i am taking it if i am taking it so whatever is the zor total i was getting from the from the previous calls take a zor with current element and do not take it means whatever is the zor total just carry forward that just forward that so this is going to be our code and in this code i am going to take two possibilities at every step so 2 to the power n will be the time complexity of my approach and what about the space complexity i don't think i am taking any extra space no 
no extra space is being taken now let's code this approach so here what we have to do take sum of all zo totals let's say that sum is going to be captured in this sum variable and uh, let me also take this nums globally so that i don't have to pass it to my solution function this dot nums is equal to nums and now i'm going to write a helper function which will be taking what value starting from index 0 just start the processing start from index 0 and currently the zero total value is 0 initialized with identity after that i will be capturing all the values in this sum and this sum i can return now we just have to implement this uh, this function solution function so it is private void solution integer index and integer current zo total if it is a terminating case index equal to equal to nums dot length if it is a terminating case just uh, capture xt it means sum plus equal to xt and then return otherwise we'll fall into infinite looping now first option is take it how do i take it solution idx plus one if i have to take it current zo total so far take another zo with current element if i tell you not to take it then uh, current just move to the next index and whatever is the xt just pass it to the next element so this is something uh, finding logic like finding all the subsets this is a backtracking problem where we are checking all the possibilities and also the constraints are uh, not so high array length will is going to 12 and the value will go till 20 so no need to worry about the integer overflow or stack overflow or memory outage okay so let me run over sample test cases all the sample test cases are passed i'm submitting the problem it got submitted successfully i hope you understood the approach thank you guys in case you get any doubt you can comment down below bye bye